Well, it was summer of 2011. I just turned 17 um, and I tore my ACL. You know, at that point, I was like, you know, I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what's going on. It just felt a huge shock through my leg. And I was scared. I didn't know what to do. It was said that I would have to do surgery, which would leave me out, well, the surgeon said approximately nine to 12 months. But that's where my dad came in. Um, he was very influential in that he kept me focused during the period of recovery, rehab. Um, you know, there was a point in time where I just thought, I don't, I don't, I don't want to play anymore, you know. He was very subtle. He wasn't upset. He simply said, look at what you've done up until this point in your career. There's so much more to achieve, but it's obvious that you have some talent, you know. You know, it's gonna take hard work, it's gonna take the dedication, but you have to be focused and you have to be driven. All this other noise, he referred to it as noise, um, is, is not important at this point in time, you know. And what is important is the journey. And from then I just realized, you know, success is not a, a destination, you know. It's, it's about the journey. So it can be said that my dad was, you know, very influential in getting me to this point at RSL right now. Oh, for sure. I remember when I got drafted, um, I got a text, you know, I got so many texts from everyone, but once one text really, you know, stuck, stuck with me. It was that one from Kyle, you know, he didn't have to, but it just attested the fact that Kyle is that type of person. He texted me and he said, you know, Omar, welcome. We're really looking forward to having you. Um, uh, we want you on this journey. We really want you here and we really like you. And <clears throat> that in itself just said to me that this place is, you know, one I could call home. Well, I mean, we're down 5-0. Um, then we needed something to start the comeback. And, you know, I was pretty, pretty happy that it was me, you know. Um, saw that Luke picked up the ball from Ricardo. Um, Luke played it into Plata. I saw that I might have been in an offside, offside position. So I quickly got myself onside. Received it from Plata on a one-time hit. And when I saw it go in the back of the net, I was like, wow, is it really in the back of the net? Yeah, it is. Didn't have much time to celebrate because we wanted to come back, but um, all in all, it was a great feeling to score my first and last goal. Hopefully of many. He said, wicked goal, wicked, wicked, son, wicked. With like five or six exclamation marks. So clearly he was proud. Um, but then he did critique me on a number of things that he thought I did wrong. And going back over the film, he was right. <laughs> he was very right. 